All right, guys, welcome back to Nico Brothers. I'm Ivan. And I'm Mike. And we just got a call back from the wheel repair shop. And uh, they said they're ready. They got them powder coated, sandblasted, and they're done. So let's go get them. All right. All right, we got the rims, got to load up in the van. Honestly, they look fantastic. We went for the flat back. On the satin. Satin, satin black. On the front lip is gonna be glossy. So our barrels, I think it's gonna be a good contrast. It's gonna look good. It's gonna make the calipers pop out good. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll see about the center cap. Maybe we'll do something about that, but maybe we'll just keep it clean. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when we put it all together. All right, let's go back to the shop and get these together. All right, guys, we just got back to the shop. Let's get them unloaded and check it out. This is my first experience getting powder coated. I mean, it should last longer than getting painted, so. A little spendy, but I gotta do it right. They look good. Now the fun part, putting them back together. So many pieces. <laughs> so dang, look at this pile of bolts. Just nasty. So I guess we're not going for that red or yellow look anymore. We're gonna go for just straight bolt. That's gonna be fun. And I've been wire wheeling it. That one not coming off? Oh, we're gonna have fun. So, this took a long time, but uh, with the wire wheel, we got them all sanded down. Looks good. Unfortunately, half is. Uh, like that, and half is like that. So we're gonna have to paint them. I got some uh, paint right here. It's gonna match. It's gonna be like a flat color. So I just wax and greased everything. Just gonna let it dry, and then we'll uh, put a coat on there, probably a couple coats, until it all covers and looks good.
Okay, so here we have it. We put the, the rear wheels together. We got the front wheels together. That took, that, I, I think it was harder taking them apart than putting them together. Got all the bolts painted up. They turned out pretty nice. But uh, we're gonna let it dry overnight and we'll catch you guys in the morning. All right guys, it's the next morning. I haven't finished the wheels last night. He was here for a while, I had to go, but dang, he did good. The wheels look great, fantastic, super happy about it. Now we can move forward. So what we're gonna do now is take the tires, put them on the rims, put them on the car, and then we'll be able to get the car out to the frame machine, get that frame squared up, and just keep moving forward. All right, so here we have it. We got the tires put on the wheels. So we're ready to put the rims on the car and drive it on the frame machine. Unfortunately, one of the back tires went bad, so we had to put uh, another bad, other tire we had. We kind of had to stretch it, but at least it worked for now until we order a tire. Had to use the cheetah to blow it up, but let's, uh, let's put them on the car. Okay, so we got the, the rims on the car, but as you guys can see, this one is, uh, it's not sitting straight. So we're just gonna adjust it really quick to get it close. So it's got two control arms or two uh, cam bolts that we can adjust and a tie rod end. So we're gonna try to get this wheel pointing straight. All right, check that out. So we got a lot straighter. This will drive a little bit easier onto the frame machine. So let's get it on there. All right guys, so we got the car finally on the frame machine. It's looking good. Unfortunately, we got some little bad news. Um, our frame machine has these clamps and this car does not have a pinch hole whatsoever. It's got a little, like a frame. So we're gonna have to go old school with uh, blocks. Unfortunately, I don't have that many, so I have to go to the hardware store and pick up some blocks. Probably a little bit bigger than this. So we're gonna jack up the car, put on the blocks, take the wheels off, and then just drop it down. And then we start pulling frame. So let's get to it. All right, so we got the piece of wood in the shop. Let's cut it up into four pieces. Let's get to it.
Okay, so here we have it. We got it all strapped down because primarily we're gonna be pulling this one to the driver's side and this rail is gonna go down. So we hooked it up. Let's measure really quick. So this frame rail is sitting about at 20 and this one it's about a 21, so close to an inch higher. So we're gonna pull this rail down and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so here we have it. I actually cut this little piece off. I strained it back up and I welded it. Then we got this little pipe welded on there and uh, we uh, grinded down all this. So we're ready to test fit it and uh, put the headlight on, check our angles. Before we do that, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to pull this thing really quick and uh, fix it. So it looks like that one. Let's get to pulling. All right, so it's not really pulling out as much as I like. So I'm gonna cut it off, strain it up, and just re-weld it. I mean, all it holds is the radiator support or the radiator, so it'll be good to go. Let's get to cutting. Okay, so here we have it. We got it welded in. Looks good, measured up. And uh, we're ready to go. Ready to put that radiator in. But first, we're gonna glue this panel in. So, we'll send it down a little bit, get the panel bound, and get it glued on. All right, so one whole day of framework turned out great. So that thing is gonna get dried overnight and tomorrow we can just take it apart and start working on the hood a little bit. We can put the little rebar on and uh, start working on bodywork. So all the frame damage is done. We can put the radiators back in, all the cooling system, fans, condenser, power steering. Just like that. It's turning out nice. All right guys, it's looking great. I did a lot of work. Honestly, sheet metal artist with those framework and everything. Check how straight that is, man. Looks fantastic. You got the bottom rail, the top one. And this piece also glued in. Looks good, Adam. Good job. You did great. We'll be done in no time. If we can find that front bumper. 
Yeah, I still need to get that for sure, but man, it looks good. So we're just gonna have to paint it up a little bit and then we're ready to put the radiators back in and condenser yeah. and the little power steering and so. Yeah. That's probably gonna be next on the next episode. Yeah, guys, that's enough for one day. All right, sounds good. Let's go inside the office, find our winner. All right, guys, we're inside the office, time to find our winner for the giveaway. I appreciate the feedback you guys are giving us. You know, that's nice. People like our science. That's good. What we're all gonna do is comment viper below. And basically, you're in and win. Make sure you subscribe. You know, share the video. It'd be nice. A lot of progress in the viper. Really like how the rims turned out. Framework's looking good too. So, yeah, let's keep going. All right, let's find our first winner. Three, two, one. Christian Zorilla. Viper, great job so far, guys. Perfect. We appreciate it. You won. Just send us your address, and we'll get it over to you as soon as possible. Winner number two, Nathan. Plain and simple, Viper. That's all you need to do. Nice, congrats, bro. Let's see your most liked comment, just for fun. Kitty Puff, Viper, check Instagram message, it's important. Yeah, we appreciate it. Helped us find the bumper, right? But it was out of stock. It was out of stock, seriously? Yeah, after she uh, tried to find us any pictures, they couldn't get it. Dang, so we still don't have a front bumper. We're still looking for a front bumper. Yeah, well, at least we can still move on, keep going, but we're gonna need that front bumper. Dang. All right, final winner, number three. Let's do it. Jario, Hario? <laughs> Congrats, bro, you won. You're our final winner, but remember, you can still win some more signs. Comment Viper below. Stay tuned, and we'll get this build going.